This is a quick video um, for those students that I know are using Mathematica in our class. Um, so we've been in section uh, like 3.3 uh, and 3.4, we've been doing the uh, chain rule, you've been doing product rule, okay? And so I just wanted to give you a, an idea how you could use Mathematica to check your answers. So let's take, for example, f of x, okay? Uh, let's say you had the function, uh, this was what would be written on your paper, f of x equals, and then it would be like x divided by, x divided by the square root, the square root of x cubed plus one, right? That's what it would may look like, okay? And you would insert that into Mathematica. You would get this into Mathematica via the following, okay? You need to make your function a function of x, okay? And the way you do that is by doing f square bracket. Mathematica doesn't really use round brackets, um, so they would use square brackets x underscore. This underscore is what tells the computer that you're making a function of x. And so I would type x divided by, and Mathematica uses capital letters for its functions, so square root x cubed plus one, okay? You could uh, hit shift return, and this would show you that you have typed the correct function, okay? You can then go back up here, hit enter to go to a new line, and then you can simply type f prime of x, okay? And then shift return, and here is your answer for your derivative, okay? You can do things like simplify, you can ask the computer to simplify the derivative, in which case it will simplify this answer by finding a common denominator and doing some adding and subtracting and canceling. And this will be your simplified derivative. Okay. You could ask the computer to find f double prime of x. Okay. There is f double prime of x. You can ask the computer to simplify f double prime of x. And there is your simplified second derivative. Okay. Okay. Now, one of the difficulties here um, is okay. So let's go ahead and just finish the problem, and then I'll discuss the difficulties. Let's say that the problem further asked ask for the tangent line to the function f of x at say x is equal to one. All right, let's say this is what the problem had been asking. Okay, well, what would you have needed to do? The formula you would have needed would have been L of X is equal to the linearization, the line, the tangent line. You had to do F of A plus F prime of A times X minus A. And that's what you would have had to do. Well, that's pretty simple with the computer. You can say the function evaluated at one. Okay, so let me, let me get rid of, let me hide these. If you put a semicolon at the end of each expression, it will no longer uh, show that to the screen. So all we are seeing now, because this line does not have a semicolon, we are seeing just the function written. And because the function evaluated at one doesn't have a semicolon, we are seeing the function evaluated at one, okay? So there's the function evaluated at one. You can find the derivative evaluated at one is one over four square root of two. And then you can put those together by saying f of one plus f prime of one times x minus one, just like you would write on your paper, except you now have, this is what you would write on paper, and this is what you would write on the computer because it's Mathematica, so you don't have round brackets. You do function evaluations with square brackets. These parentheses, the parentheses are just separators. That's the way the computer would use parentheses. So there's the equation of your tangent line. Okay. 
Further, you could uh, do one other thing. You could plot your function f of x. Plot the function f of x by saying plot f of x. And then plotting it, say, from negative 1 to 1. And there would be a plot of your function. And we would have found the tangent line to this function at 1. So you could plot the tangent line and see if it actually looks tangent. Okay. So here's one of the difficulties. Let me go back up here. So I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide all the f of 1, f prime of 1. Hide this. I'm going to hide the plot by putting a semicolon. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to show the derivative again. Well, let's just show the derivative by taking off the semicolon. You can go back to this cell and you can highlight it and hit shift return. And now we can see here's our function. This is our function and here is the derivative. So one of the difficulties is being able to check that your answer, which may not look like this, when you do it on paper, so here's the difficulty. Checking your, sorry, your answer on paper with the computer's answer. That's a difficulty. Because yours may not look by hand, that your derivative may not look at all like this. So here's what I here's what I recommend. Okay. Two functions f of x a function f of x is equal to g of x if when you subtract those two functions you get zero. Okay. So here's what I want to, oh, let's just do a really si simple example here. So let's say that on your paper um, that you get a student answer, I'll just say this, your answer on paper and you've done this by hand okay and let's say for example that you get 2 times x times x minus 4 okay and that's what you've got this is what the computer writes is what now you know that if you were to distribute this so let's say that this is your answer But the computer answer, they put 2 times x squared minus 8 times x. So here is the answer that you get on paper, and here is the computer's answer. And you want to see, because and you can't see it in your head, perhaps the problem would be too complicated, although this one is easy, but in general they could be too complicated to see and you're not sure if your answer is the same as the computer's answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your answer minus the computer's answer. Okay. And look what the computer has done. It has taken their answer, the computer's answer, which is 8x minus 2x squared, and it has subtracted your answer and it has given this. Now what you need to do is you need to simplify that answer. And if when you simplify it, the answer comes out to be zero, you know that this expression, your answer, and you know that this expression, which is the computer's answer, that they are equal. If when you subtract them, you get zero. So that would be a good way to check your answer, for example, right? So you could make up any function. This is what you should practice, you know, in your study groups or whatever. Pick, pick your favorite function. Okay, take the x times the square root of x squared plus 1, and then divide that by 3 times x cubed. Ooh, and actually, let's make this plus 1. So the computer doesn't simplify it for us. Okay, so here's the function we've typed in. x times the square root of x squared plus 1. That's right here on the top in the numerator. 
divided by 3x cubed plus 1. That is in the denominator. And you want to find the derivative, g prime of x. Now you should pause and you should try to find that answer by hand. You will have to use the quotient rule on this, where your high function is x times the square root of 1 plus x squared, and the lower function is 1 plus 3x cubed. So take that derivative by hand and tell me what you get. And then you can check that with the computer. Did you get this answer? If you didn't get that answer, that's what the computer says. Did you get this answer? Is that the answer you got? If you didn't get either one of those, okay, call this the computer answer. Okay, call the simplified version the computer answer. And you need to fill in your answer. Okay, that's what you need to do, fill in the blanks there. And then you need to do computer answer minus your answer. And then you need to simplify. And if that answer comes out to be zero, you know that what you put here for your answer was correct. Okay. So that's all I've got on showing a little bit of how you could use Mathematica. Mathematica is Mathematica is what Wolfram Alpha is using to answer all of your questions if you go to the Wolfram Alpha website. I'll give you a hint here. If inside of Mathematica you want to uh, call Wolfram Alpha from inside Mathematica, this is a nifty little trick. Um, you do the control equal sign. Okay. So if you hit control equal sign, it'll bring up this box, a little red equal sign. And then you can say, for example, you can just type the words derivative of x squared okay. and hit enter. And here is the Mathematica notation that you could use to take the derivative of x squared with respect to x. That's the computer's way of writing it. And then you could say accept this. Okay, and then hit shift return and you know the answer is 2x. So this is another way of writing the derivative. You could say the derivative of x times square root of x plus 1. Take the derivative with respect to x. There is your answer via the product rule. So this is another way that the uh, you can use Wolfram Alpha to kind of help you learn Mathematica syntax. Okay. Um, this D notation, this is the equivalent of what I've been writing in class. I would write D dx of a function f of x. That's what we are writing here. Okay, so this is D dx of the function x squared. So what you're seeing here is that this is the same thing as d f of x comma x, where the d leave the blank comma x. That's what we are writing it as d dx. So that's all I've got in this video. Um, I know not everyone is using Mathematica. Only a select number, small number of students are using it. But I think maybe if you see some examples of it, maybe it will entice you to, to use, uh, try to get this for your computer. It's not a, uh, it's not a small file. The computer provides, the computer provides um, uh, Mathematica to us. So if you want to, if you've been seeing this part of my website and have always wondered what it is about, you can look here. Uh, the Mathematica download instructions, you could left click it and it'll take you to instructions for how to get Mathematica for your computer, your personal computer as a student. Okay, so here are the instructions down here, student personally owned machines. Okay, uh, it's not a small file, so if you, uh, 
um, you know, have an older computer, it may not uh, run, it may slow your computer down a little bit. But if you have a reasonably new computer and uh, wouldn't mind having this software for yourself to play around with, here's how you get it. That's a link directly from my website. All right, that's all.